Today I've got a bumper video for you. I think we've got charity shops, car boot sales, selling of cars, all sorts of stuff over two or three days. Maybe it's two days. I've lost my head. Either way, sit back and enjoy the feature length video. Yes, I am still wearing the same clothes as yesterday's video because for me, it's still the same day. I had a whatnot delivery turn up from Top Clobber. Always doing shows. I think he's moving over to twice a week now. But whenever he's on, I always find stuff to buy. And it annoys me because he's my homie for like, I don't know, 20 years or something. And um, putting money in his pocket shouldn't hurt as much as it does. I'm only joking, Rick. Nice big bag. Let's take a look. Professional wrapping. There's something in here which I think is a fucking bargain. But the thing is, I actually missed the part of the show with his description of it in. I just did pre-bids on the item. So I'm hoping it's in good condition because it went quite cheap for what it was. And there's people in that chat who know what they're looking at and they're always whipping up all the bargains. Like Tia, for example, she'll pay up. She knows her stuff. Anyway, let's have a look. I also pre-bidded on the wrong item. I told him in the stream. I said, do me a favour. Take that item down and rerun it another one separately or something. I had him on mute so I didn't hear what he said because I was putting Ailey to bed. When it finally came to it, I was in this chat and he said... This, is, this must be the one Ricky wants. Nobody bid on it, please. So then I had to buy it. But he told me he was going to switch it out for something. And I don't recognise this. So I think this might be it. Unless I did buy this. I don't know. No, I didn't buy that. So that's definitely a switcheroo. It's a nice little top. Should we change the continuity from yesterday? It smells freshly laundered as well. It's a nice little beater top, isn't it? That is. I could do the gardening in that. Yeah. I appreciate the switch out, Rick. He didn't have to do that, but he did that for me. It's very kind. I forget what I bought. Oh, yeah, I won... I won two giveaways. I won back-to-back -back giveaways. Get up there. I've got a panda. John will probably like that or Charlotte. And a dog. What's this one? I don't remember winning this either. I think he's given me that as well. A little Nike tee. Extra large. Or did I? I don't... I don't I'm good. I can tell you what I bought when I bought it from three years ago. How much I paid. Where I got it from. Charity shop, car beat, whatever. So I will remember this. I don't remember that. So another, another nice little beater top. Appreciate it, Rick. I'm going to take this off. I feel a bit restricted. I'm the kind of person who sleeps with the windows open in winter. I need to be cool. I remember buying this one. It said it had a few marks on the cuff. It does just there, which is nothing. It's a nice XL Nike sweat. Where's the tags on it? Yeah, I like it. Nice. Let's take that off as well. Too, too, too restricting. Pair of jeans for me. Nice pair of Levi's. 5.11s. Just a nice grey... You know, not too daddish, not too blue. I don't like blue jeans. I think it makes you look a little bit suspect. Yeah, nice. I think they were like seven quid. I think the Nike sweater was like five or six quid. And here is what I spent the most on, like 21 plus, but I think 27, 28. Let me have a look first. Mm, looks okay. Does need a bit of a clean. But he would have said that in the stream. I just had it on mute. It is a Levi's engineer jacket. Blanket lined. Really nice, it's a size large. Would I wear it? Doubt it, not my scene. I'm gonna try it on though and see if I can change my own mind. If I do try it on and like it, we can assume that I am getting older in mind as well. Ah, a bit too small for me, thank God. Yeah, it's all right though, it's nice. It's got a bit of a few marks and stuff, but that will definitely wash out. So I'm going to put it in the wash and then oh, there's a button missing there, but there's two there. So I'll probably nick one from there. I'm going to put it in the wash and get it listed. Solds of this are around 90 to 100 pound. Now, if any of you lot want it in the state that it's in, it just needs a little bit of a wash. There's a few lot marks and stuff on it. Nothing massively drastic. Guarantee most of that will wash out. And it's missing one button just here, but there's a button there. You could just move it across if you want or cuff it there. If anybody wants this in the condition it is, unwashed with a button missing. 50 quid posted. So it's going to cost me a fiver to send it. Send me 50 quid. And it's yours. I'll let you make the other 40 quid on top. Really nice lining. Look at that. First come, first serve. Instagram is down below. If it fits you and you want it for yourself, you've got a nice little cheap Levi jacket, in you? But I'm going to leave this in the pile over there for the next few days until the video's up. And then go from there. Not oh, a bad little jacket. I think that blows away any fucking Saturday car boot, to be honest. Bastard. 
Those Ralph Lauren shirts that I picked up the other day, my main man Graham wants me to measure them up for him to see if he can make a purchase. So I'm going to do that now before I procrastinate any longer. It's been about three days since he asked me. Are they all about the same size? Is it going to fit him? Is it going to fit him? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. They're all the same size and they're all a rare size. So rare to come up on the market like that anyway. So I'll message the homeboy now and see if he wants any in what he wants. Mm. Who's that? Hello, mate, you all right? Hey. You okay? Turn your bike off, bro. Please, I love you. So my main man Graham has actually decided that he's going to be the one to pick up all 11 of these polo shirts and I've done him the best deal I possibly could. There's a nice selection of here, casual, cotton, brushed, smart. Yep. Oh, do you have any super glue? Nope. There's a selection here of casual, smart, brushed, all them different sorts, and they're all his size. I paid £2.75 each, and I've sold them to him for an average of £9.09 pence each to take them all. And I'm going to cover the postage, which means I should do a nice little double up in a bit. My maths is correct. So Graham, as always, I really appreciate you, mate. You're a top dude. Oh, he's turned his bike off. He's a lovely bloke. Just got back from the charity shop and guess what? Their tills were down again, so it was only cash. Cash was the only option to pay. Cash is king. There was a lady there who was gonna have to go and faff about trying to find cash. It was impossible, so I paid her bill for her. Yeah, I'm looking for some recognition and what? Well, I picked, it was about seven or eight quid. I picked up a few things. Let me show you what they are. Are you being served DVD box set? Three pound paid. I'm hoping for about 20 quid back on that. Pure hunch, pure guess. Signal in that shop is a myth. I could be right, could be wrong. It's the name of the game, isn't it? Am I correct or not? Maybe. I popped out the back to see what they had on the rails. And while I was out there for four pound or four pounds 50, I think it was four pound. They've had to take all the price tags off of everything, which is great because it meant there was anything that was gift aided. So it wasn't a DVD and it wasn't something else. But everything else, they had to pull all the tags off them so they could scan them all out when the till's back on. Saved me a job, didn't it? But this was, I think, £4 or £4.50. It's got a nice little pocket here. Nice little pocket there on that Nike red tag. Size large. Nice little hit just here. Yeah, it's decent. Four quid. Slammer. Look what else was on the tag outside as well. This was £3, I believe. So it's a nice little crop shirt, crop sleeve. Elastic on the sleeves. Sylvia and each. Bargains out there, mate. Bargains. This was £2.75, I think. I think it was £2.75. Little Disney Bambi and Thumper snow globe. Stamped Disney just there. Little butterfly on the top. Now, because the butterfly is so delicate, the very tips of his wings have snapped off. But you can barely notice it, and I'm sure it will make a blind bit of difference when it comes to selling it. I'm hoping... 15, 20 quid on that. This was three pound. It's been in there for ages. I've reduced it and reduced it and reduced it. There was no sticker on it when I went to go and buy it. She said, how does three pound sound? I said, sure, okay. I mean, I can't remember if it was six pound or not, but it was in the half price section. I paid three pound for it. No idea what it's worth. Haven't looked it up yet. My phone is what I'm using to record, so I don't know. But estimation, 15 quid. Quirky stuff like this always sells quite well. People can get the 16 pin adapter for that for their new phones or a Bluetooth receiver if it's got Bluetooth sound. Little Fortnite figure, 50p. I wouldn't normally pick it up, but it's got the seed with it. So I'm guessing probably eight quid back on that. It'd be quite a quick seller. Maybe five on Vinted for 50p. Come on. Most of you know about the Waylux scales, but this is actually Waylux weights in the original Waylux box. So there's like a hard corrugated plastic. They're all in there. Yeah, cool. These obviously go on the kitchen scales, the weighing scales. Really, really cool. £2.75 on that. See, that one didn't need the sticker pulling off because apparently if it's a short number, it's not gift aid. If there's about seven more digits in that number, it'd be gift aided, so they have to pull them off when their tills go down. These were £4. I paid up a little bit for these because I wanted to do some research. Again, signal's crap in there. So they're by a company called 
Bantu. But I don't know if they're worth it. If you want, they just feel really, really good quality. They've taken like a lot of effort on their tag and their logo. That's like a plasticky tag. That is, you know, if it was cheap, they'd just put a little crappy cotton tag in, wouldn't they? So I paid four pound on the basis of I can get more than four pound for them as a short, even if they was unbranded. So there's a little hit there as well. Look. Oh, Bantu. Uh, even if there's unbranded, I'd get four quid back on that unvinted. But I'm hoping they're a decent little brand. They're a swim short, really, really nice feel, really well constructed. That was why I bought them. I'll be putting screenshots up of everything, hopefully, so I can see if I was correct or not. And you can see if I was dead wrong and just chucking money away. And then I paid eight pounds. I've never bought one of these before. Eight pound for a vintage tag, Laura Ashley dress gown type thing. It's got the belt with it just there. Nice floral patterns. Uh, what, what can I tell you about it? I'm hoping, this is made in the UK, I'm hoping these are like £40 dresses. I don't know, I've never picked up a vintage Laura Ashley one before, but I can see it doing quite well. It's the right, it's the right weather for it. It's the right time of year, isn't it? Really sort of like elegant, but basic in the same style. Does that make any kind of sense to you whatsoever? Like the blacks and the whites, the flowers, but it's not in your face and it's also not plain. Who the fuck do I think I am? Got one. See, I'm hoping 40 quid back on that for an eight pound spend. And that's what I picked up. There we go, there's the giveaways sent on the way, on the way to you now. Lovely. Goodbye. And there we go, she's gone. She gone, I gave him a deal. And, uh, and we're out of her. I've, I actually did manage to get out to the boot sale, but it's very small at the moment, as you can see. But that dude over there, 50p an hour, my clothing. Oh, I've filled up a bag. So I'm going to go empty it and then get back out there and see what's there. There's not going to be much of a hunt for... Not going to be much hunting footage today. Just going to just going to slap it into the video. Oh, he's just got some more stuff on. I filled the bag again, so I'm not going to empty it again. Which is great. I'm not complaining. 50p an item. He charged me five on the Levi's, but that's fine. There's the first lot. I spent about a tenner. No, 20. Third bag, and I am telling you now, there's no fucking way I'm listing any of that. What not stream it is. If I've spent 25 quid there, I'd be surprised. The rain is coming down. Thank God I've got Jesse's jacket. My jacket, obviously. Bought it from Jess. I'm going to go have a quick little look. See if I can capitalise on the desperate people who want to sell their stuff before the rain ruins everything. And then, um, do you know, I'm pretty sure those little cherry apple toilet brush things are worth money. But I wouldn't, I'd only buy it if it was sealed. <laughs> One last little browse and then we'll come back. What size are those frozen boots, mate? Sorry? What size are those frozen boots? Uh, 10, I think. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah. No, um, almost never wore. I wore about twice before we discovered they were too small for my daughter. How much are they? I call that perfect timing. I've got a big spot in the middle of my head, look. Me and Ada was picking off little eyebrow hairs out yesterday. I think she's nailed it. She got dirt under it and caused me a fucking spot. How would you get out of there? They've locked it off. See when we get home, I'm not going to go through all the clothing. I'll just do some choice picks, I think, because there's a lot there. I'm about to bring a box out for this. I don't even know if that's going to do anything, to be honest. Let me get it in the garage. Let me move it out of here and get it in the garage. Yeah, I'm going to need to get all of this stuff on Vinted and whatnot ASAP because it's taken over the garage now. I'm not going to show you all the clothing because it's boring, but I will show you a few choice pieces. I've also got a load of vintage toys and figures, some cool Jack Daniels stuff, and just a few bits and pieces like that as well. Standard car boot, but some really good bits at low, low prices. I'm not expecting it all to be perfect, though. Now, I'm sure you can appreciate I've not researched any of this stuff yet, so I don't know what everything's worth when it comes to, like, the non-clothing pieces. But let me show you a few bits. First up is this Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey CD case, like a CD store. It's made out of wood. I think it's a little bit older. Got a few different levels into it. I don't know what it's worth, but I did pay a fiver for it. This woman was not budging on her prices. Paid up on a lot of stuff to be fair with her, but it's still cheaper than charity shop prices. That's where you gotta look at it. That'd probably be 15 quid in a charity shop. I'm I'm sure it's worth more than a fiver, but I don't know how much more. Ada, some boots for two quid don't fit her, great. But they'll sell nicely, some nice frozen ones. Alba, CD player, pound. 
That'll be 15 quid guaranteed. Haven't looked it up yet, but this is a Windows 98 Dell distributed media pack. So brand new and sealed. You know I've done quite well on those before. I'm just going to bring you over for this one because there's just too much to go through. So basically when I was there, this woman brought a big box of toys out. I said, £20 for the lot. No, 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 no. So I picked through a load, grabbed the load out. I said, £20 for that then. No, no. 30 pound then i said no 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 no. so she agreed on 20 which is probably half of what was there originally but that's fine and then i paid another seven pound for another bundle of stuff on top so 27 in total so i just picked out things that i thought looked weird wonderful and vintage and older like i've not seen half of this stuff i don't know there was a few definite vintage. Well, I think both of these are Mortal Kombat. Um, Lord of the Rings. The sword's there somewhere as well. Got that because I've never seen any toy from that. It's a 2002 release. I've never seen... Um, dude! So I'm guessing it probably would have carried the fish on it. You know, I was just picking things up that looked cool. Made a big pile and bundled it missing his helmet but it doesn't matter oh he's missing the helmet as well but my friend said he's got one so i might get that off pat yeah just a few a few different bits and pieces and there's loads in there to go through but i know it can be quite boring that's probably like variations of spider-man can be worth some good dough so i picked up as many spider-man as i could Pretty sure that last one was from a cartoon I watched when I was a kid. As mentioned, last night Ada was pulling my eyebrow hairs out and I think she's pinched all the blood together. She said, I'm so sorry, I've made a red mark. And she started getting upset about it. I said, don't worry, you've got a red mark as well where she hit herself in the head with a bottle. And I thought it was like a surface mark that would disappear. Woke up this morning and uh, I, I'm, I keep feeling if there's like a spot on there or not, but I can't feel one properly. I can't feel like a spot or anything. I think she's just squeezed all the bubble and pinched all the bubble when trying to get the hairs out. Because you really wanted to hear that, didn't you? Right, now the clothing. How am I going to do this? I don't know. I don't want to show you things. But actually, I'm going to make a pile of wash and stuff. So most of this was 50 pence each. The majority. I paid £5 for a Levi shirt. Uh, £2.50 for two pairs of Levi's. And then 50p for the other ones. I don't know what's going on there. So let's say an average 75 pence a piece. Fred Perry needs a wash. First pair of Levi's, 501s, really nice condition. I'm gonna put all the Levi's to one side. So some of you might have realized in the video by now, I've been filming over a few days, there's lots of different things happening in it. I've actually decided I'm gonna leave it all in and make one big long video, one big long video. So more 501s, always check the crotch and the cuffs. If they're all good, you're all good. Teeny weeny, all that bare, new and tagged, never heard of it before, but skirt dressing who knows put new and tag stuff over there another pair of big old eyes odds remember i bought a pair last time i still haven't sold yet 56 waist new with the tags come on they were 50 pairs off and the same guy from before ted baker needs a wash no it doesn't valentino yeah, valentino orlandi don't know if that's like the valentino i don't think it is it might be though still worth 50p in it christian dior christian dior three for a pound actually not 50p just a pair of large, I think they're large boys or large girls. I think they're large youths. They have to be large youths because they're tiny. But just a pair of Nike joggers. Some nice Adidas women's work leggings things, floral. This was different, so I picked it up. Tonka. Tonka branded as well, three to four years. 2006 Hasbro. I was buying bits when I thought I'd have that. Because it was so cheap, I don't normally buy it, but I thought I'd pick up some super dry stuff. Very, very bubbly, that one. But I don't normally mess with it, but 50p. We'll try it out, see how it does. Big Samuel L. Kangol, Polo, Ralph Lorenz. I'm trying to show you these in a way that when I get to the edit, I can just chop, 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 and blast through it. Again, same story. Super dry hoodie, 50p. I never mess with super dry. I don't think I've ever bought a super dry piece in my life. Champion hoodie, champion sweat, Lee Chinos, Wrangler Texas Stretch, Gap, but Gap Paris, that's what drew my attention to it. Some Hollisters. 50p, they'll sell. Some more big boy brand new eyes odd. Big boy old navies. Some Armani jeans, I think they're ladies. I thought I said radical Rick to begin with, but it says radical kick. That's annoying. 
What size are they? 46. Yeah, they're women's, aren't they? That crotch is too small. Some black 501s. Boss orange chino trousery type things. Oh, I've got to go through all this ASAP and get it moving. Some Levi's 559s, but these are big waist. 48. So they'll do well. An average of 75p. I reckon it's probably an average of 66p. These are, I believe, fake, but I picked them up anyway because I thought I'd, I'd, rock around, I'd rock around the house in them. Yeah, they're definitely fake. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they're definitely fake. Derp a 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 derp look at my legs derp I knew they were fake when I saw them but I thought they are going to be somewhat comfy to swish around the house in aren't they I'll swish around the house in them swish swish Quicksilver surf top so it's got like a tight neck on it Nigel Hall but it's made with the moon stuff you know that Meminess do a lot of moon collaborate a lot of moon material whatever you call it here you go Levi's jacket he did say I had to pay a fiver for that. I went, oh, okay. But what he was doing, because I was spending loads of money with him, filled my bag three times, went back and forward to the car. He was emptying his car, and as he was going, he was going, Levi's, night jacket. Just going, cheers, mate. So yeah, fiver for that, which I think brings the average up on that. This is fucking smart, mate. And I am probably going to keep it. Mainly because... A little cigarette burn just there. You barely notice it, but it makes it harder to sell, believe it or not. But that is a nice vintage on that. I believe that's the 90s tag. Like, and I think by the look of it, it might even be packable. Maybe early 2000s on that. It might be packable. Let's look for a pocket that turns over. Well, it might not be packable, just a jacket. But how smart is that? A really nice. Y2K looking cream night top, but like I say, just lets it down a little bit, just there. Uh, I'd still sell it, I'd still get some money for it, but I might, might keep it. By the way, if you're still here, fair play. This clothing's boring. Gant chinos. But I'm hoping I've edited it in a way that it's fast. Some more 501s came up today. 506. I couldn't quite work this out while I was on the field. It felt good quality, but I couldn't tell if it was... A good make or not but original bombers flight jacket is what it's called it feels nice and heavy quite thick but obviously you can imagine for use in jetcraft flight jacket manufacturers you can imagine that when i typed in original bomber flight jacket what came up so i'll do some research later and narrow it down it could either be a bombersoriginal.com there you go i can look at that for it's got a wool fur collar mr will Somebody spent money on getting it dry cleaned. So I'll do some research into it. It could be an absolute smashing jacket or it could just be, you know, whatever. Nice feeler teddy, teddy jacket, teddy fleece. Shame it's feeler, but I'll still wear it. Probably sell it as well. Got two of these now. Peter Christian. They're like a quarter button shirt, so you tuck the rest in. Two of those. Another one. This could be something very special, as long as the condition's good. Made in Italy. Paul Smith dreamed jacket i think if I remember rightly these are cashmere cashmere outside 90 percent wool 10 percent cashmere i'm just praying not to see any flaws any marks any horribleness if i do i hope it's minor it's a little bit there on this on the elbow it looks like it's fell over but i reckon that's still going to be okay that could be a pretty penny it's a nice long one as well the arm lets it down though calvin klein ladies heels all over monogram no splits no rips and last but not least for the clothing nfl jets martin jersey it is the rebot 2xl i don't know the value but i know it's worth more than 50p don't you so if you manage to stick with me from that clothing haul fair kim play to you mate but I do really appreciate you. I have actually got a jumble sale to go to later on today, but I'm not going to add that to this video or it's going to be super, super, super long, like too long. So massively appreciate you for sticking with me. I think you've had two or three days worth of footage of things going on, charity shops, selling cars, car boot sales and whatever else in between. Really do appreciate you. It's very early in the morning still. It's like quarter to nine and I've been out and done my bits all this morning. So I'm a little bit tired, but... I need to hit this jumble cell. So hopefully there's another video for that tomorrow, hopefully. Massively appreciate you for watching. As always, please do like the video and check to see if you are subscribed or not. And if you're not, why not?
something to fit in on. See you in a bit. <laughs>